In our current society, men get blamed for everything, especially when XXs are involved. No matter what we do or the situation, men are always painted out to be the villains and XXs as the victims. And nobody will ever give men the benefit of the doubt or at least try to see if there's any evidence to clear men's names. This is the world we live in, and there's nothing we can do to change this than to disassociate and leave women alone. Here's the thing, when you live in a world where you are demonized for just existing in everybody, including your own brethren, will turn on you to protect the divine feminine, you'll start to ask yourself what's the point? Why even try to associate with people and contribute to society when they make it clear that you are not wanted or valued and were you to do something quote unquote bad, they will punish you without giving you a chance to prove your innocence? Men in the West live in the corrupt world I'm describing, and I believe they are starting to get sick and tired of the same poor treatment over and over again. When people ask what's wrong with men, they should ask why men are treated like second-class citizens for just being men. Many of us haven't done anything nefarious to the people around us or the women in our lives, but for some reason they seem to treat us like Satan himself for absolutely no reason. We have men who just want to go out and do their job, come back home to their wives and kids, and get a little appreciation and gratitude for the sacrifice that we've made. But what do we get in return? Do we get praise, adoration, respect, loyalty and love for all the hard work and sacrifice? Nope, not most of us. Most of us get disrespected, cheated on, with no appreciation or gratitude, pure entitlement and poor treatment the moment we enter the door. Men have to go through this on a daily basis, but nobody cares or wants to see things from our perspective and try to fix the problem. But when people aren't getting what they used to get from men and men decide they're checking out, they want to ask what's wrong with us. A perfect example of men choosing to boycott a system that treated them like garbage in recent times is how they treat men who enroll in colleges and universities. If you've been to college in the United States or womanist infested countries in the West, you'll realize that they treat men as less than and prop up women. This is just what they do because the agenda pushes them in that direction. After all, in their minds, the future is female. Women have overtaken men in college enrollment and many college campuses have more XXs than men, so it only makes sense that they focus on who brings in the most money. The problem is that they choose to villainize and make men feel like they're not wanted or valued on campus, which has led to more and more men deciding to stop going to college or drop out due to how men are treated like second-class citizens. So I want you to notice a pattern forming, the system fights against men and props up women, and then men decide to hell with the BS and go somewhere else, away from where they're not wanted. Now, I want you to relate that exact mindset to relationships and tell me if it doesn't make sense for men to decide to go their own way. Most men today get absolutely nothing worth talking about in dating and relationships. I know you guys don't see it, but the wet vice grip isn't anything worthwhile or as valuable as men make it seem. You guys have to understand that before you get to test and stretch it out, there were many men before you, especially if the person is older. So we can't keep acting like getting some leftover cookie is worth its weight in gold and is an equal exchange for providing food, clothes, shelter, and an above-average lifestyle. It's not worth it, gents. The fact that some men didn't have to give up anything of value and they got access should tell you that if you have to go above and beyond, you're getting a raw deal. That doesn't mean you won't have to pay the cost to get access because most of you don't have a choice that you want to play. But if that's all you're getting out of dating and relationship because she's the table, you're getting a bad deal. With that said, most men are getting the bare minimum treatment in dating and relationships in America and certainly in parts of the West by modern XXs. It's just the reality, and as I've said, the cookie alone isn't a fair exchange for the value many men bring. Then to make things worse, not only do the women try their best to give men less and less over the years, but it also comes with bad attitudes, entitlement, complaining, bishing, moaning, unrealistic standards and expectations, emotional and verbal abuse, and the list goes on. It's only a matter of time before men realize they are getting a raw deal and decide to walk away like what we see today. Just like how men slowly withdraw from the things that society tries to penalize or constantly blame and push men away for, the same thing is happening in relationships. So when women ask what's wrong with men, the answer should be straightforward, but because they really don't care about men and are only looking out for themselves, they really don't care about the answer. XXs want men to go back to doing the things that benefit their lives at the expense of men, and that's the undeniable truth. Men are tired of not getting what they want, getting the bare minimum and still being treated as less than even though many of them did nothing to deserve the treatment they received. That is why men are running from dating and relationships because no matter what they do, it's either never going to be enough for the women and the people around them, or they won't get anything of significant value in return, and they know it.
You literally have older and younger women running around here talking about they're not going to wash, cook or clean for a man and still expect most of his money. On what planet do these people think men are dumb enough to take that deal? That's what I want to know. Sure, some men will take that deal depending on their income level or how desperate they are, but regular men who have common sense aren't dumb enough to take a bad deal when they have the option to walk away. So what we're seeing today is XX's want, want, want and don't want to give anything or make sacrifices and changes to make men want to commit to them. Most XX's don't have to be on the CC running the streets for little or nothing, but that's what they choose to do, then expect men to take them as they are without complaint. The same goes for XX's who choose to cheat on their men and betray them to collect cash and prizes or a monkey branch to a perceived better deal. They don't have to do it, but it's a choice they continue to make expecting men to put up with their crap and take a bad deal over and over again. Also, women can choose to fulfill their duties to make their man's life easier since they benefit, even if it's a 60-40 split of the finances. But what do they do? Offer the bare minimum and complain about doing their part of the chores while focusing on what the man isn't doing instead of focusing on what they need to do. All of these add up over time, and right now, men are just sick and tired of losing in dating and relationships, which is why they're boycotting it completely. Now, you might be saying I've been talking a lot about what XXs are doing to men without giving any solid solutions to the problem. And to that, I say there's nothing that regular men can do to fix this than to check out. Women are the ones who have changed the most, not men, so they are the ones who need to fix their bad behavior towards men. I have an article to show you by the Market Watch, which will summarize what I've been talking about and why men are running away from XXs and choosing to be single. When you hear what this wife did to her husband, everything I said will all come together nicely to prove that until modern XXs start treating men better, it will only get worse for them. Today's article is from Market Watch, The Moneyist, and it's titled, I paid off my wife's student loans, then she filed for divorce after two years of marriage. Slice the like button for me because YouTube has been on our necks for the past few weeks. Let's dive into it. Dear Moneyist, Before I married my wife two years ago, she had huge amounts of debt to her name, including large amounts of student loans. After we married, we diligently almost paid everything off, helped by my salary being three times that of my wife. Now gents, here's some advice worth hundreds or thousands, if not millions of dollars, that I'm going to give you for free. Never pay off a woman's loans, debts, or send her to school. I don't need to elaborate, as this man's story will make you see what is going to happen if you do stupid stuff like that. Let them pay off their own debts, don't free them or put them in an equal or better educational level than you. Trust me, they will betray you and move to the perceived bigger and better deal if you ever do anything like that. You would think they would be grateful and appreciate what you did for them, but no, remember, they are selfish and self-centered, so you can't expect them to do right by you. It's just how they are, so you can't afford to fall for that trap. The same applies to building a house on a woman's property or buying anything in a woman's name. They will betray you at some point and take what you give them, so never be dumb enough to make that mistake. Just remember that you're dealing with women, and they have no loyalty, morals, ethics, or code. Let's continue. She recently asked for a divorce, saying she was taking the house in my retirement. My question is, does the fact we paid off her debts she held before get spread evenly? Had I not paid all of her debts, our net worth would be near the same, with a better outcome for me. This ninja, I think that's the least of your concern seeing that your wife is trying to take everything you own after she got the benefits. This is why I tell you that men are tired of being taken advantage of and treated like crap and are deciding to abandon women. Look at what this woman did and tell me if you still think men shouldn't give up. All you are to them is a means to an end and your worth is to be a wallet and money tree. They don't care about you guys, they only care about what they can get and that you provide what they want and need. It's the same with society. As long as you're useful, that's the only time they care. But besides that, they really don't care about men. The fact that men who died on the battlefield get celebrated one day out of the month while the people who we can't talk about get an entire month tells you where society's priorities lie. So it's quite easy to see why men are the way they are today and why they are silently withdrawing and checking out. Let's continue. We've only been married a few years and frankly, I can't help feeling taken advantage of. The only advice I can find discusses whose responsibility the student loans would be, but now it just seems that she got me to pay all of her debts and got some new stuff while I threw away years of my life. Please tell me there's hope. Well, you got used and abused, ninja, there's no hope, and you definitely won't see a penny back. As a matter of fact, you're about to lose, bigly too. Your assets are about to get swiped like Swiper the Fox because you chose to walk a woman down the aisle and free her from her shackles. When I tell you the divorce is planned before the wedding, there it is. 
men are in love and women are in business. I never heard coach say anything better than that. So to tie up everything in a nice bow, understand that marriage, relationships, and dating are declining because men are being treated unfairly, they're being taken advantage of and receiving little to nothing in return. So as a result, men have decided to walk away from modern women, and they're mad that they can't get the benefits of a committed relationship. The video that's on the screen is what I want you guys to watch next. You'll see why it's important and why I'm recommending it, so click it right now to get this free edutainment.